Hey, welcome back to a Pearl Virus Review. Okay. You want to start off? Uh, um, yeah. I guess uh, last night's episode was uh, really good. Uh, we're definitely, you know, we're just one episode away from the big reveal, which I'll tell you right now, I still will firmly believe that no matter who's revealed tomorrow, not Allie, tomorrow. or not tomorrow, sorry, the next episode, next uh, Allie is still going to be the one who's behind it all. I mean, what are they going to do for the next two seasons? Run filler? No. You're definitely going to find out that uh, I think Allie is pulling the strings. Now, who is the big reveal? Well, I don't think it's Andrew. They are literally, uh, they're making it look like it is Andrew, and that's usually what they do. They, they, they point the camera at one person and make you think it's him, and it turns out not to be him. I got a couple theories. Uh, you know, Ezra just kind of jumped back in. I mean, once again, he, he did all his time off to do a book, and like out of nowhere now, he's like, I got a you know, bookstore now. It's like, what? Uh, so, I'm, I don't know. I don't think he's going to do it. He's low on my list of suspects, but... Uh, another thing is, the actress who plays Paige... What's her name? Uh, Lindsay Shaw. Lindsay Shaw. Apparently has blonde hair now. Now, isn't that what the killer had, blonde hair? Like, yeah. enough to establish? So, I could see her... The, you know, bringing her back as a surprise at the end of the season. And her being revealed as, you know, an A. Uh, which would be a pretty good twist, I ain't gonna lie. And then the last one, and this is the one that would really break my heart is if Caleb is the one. And the thing with Caleb being it is A, he's very intelligent when it comes to hacking phones and all that kind of shit. And it seems like they're having a lot of problem now with uh, surveillance or surveillance and uh, just phones being hacked in general and shit like that. Like whenever uh, Hannah goes to tell you know Tanner about you know the text, they're just magically erased right when she's about to go in. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the fact that Oh, Caleb, you know, they even asked him, like, you know, you got a burner phone, and he makes the jib, like, you know, what color? You know, clearly he has a lot of them. So, I mean, you know, it's little things like that, like little bitty hints, little yeah. winks. Um, when Ara gets a call. When she gets her call, he swipes it from her real quick and, you know, listens to it. Or he, I don't know, it's just little things like that that I think is kind of pointing, you know, the finger at him. Because, once again, on top of that, they're also showing us, like, how much he's in the corner of the girls and, you know, in the corner of Hannah. But you got to remember, he's the one that talked Hannah and turned herself in. I mean, he could definitely set her up. I would hate to think that because he is literally my favorite character on the show. But at the same time, you know, we are in the PLL universe and anything's possible. I mean, you know, you got to watch your back completely. Um, so, yeah, no, I, I, I don't know. I, I don't think it's Andrew because, once again, it's like they're obviously trying to make Andrew look guilty. Like last night's show, the girls uh, break into Mona's house. And, uh, well, who's watching them? It's Andrew. You know, who's lurking in the shadows? That when anything goes wrong, it's Andrew, you know. Who happened to know about, you know, who just happened to kind of be there whenever uh, Mike's weight bench, you know, the boot cap kind of went off? Yeah, it was Andrew. So, I mean, I think the fact that he's around too much is clearly them trying to make it look like it's him. Because they've done that before. I mean, we've made, uh, we made Ezra look, you know, uber guilty at one point. Uh... Shit, just recently, Mike. They made Mike. They painted Mike to be like he was a, and you know it turned out he wasn't. So I mean, it's clearly it's it, it's one of those things. So I really think you know, I I hope it's not Caleb, but my bet my best bet's gonna be Caleb or possibly uh, Paige or maybe even a Toby. Con two. I uh, see. I don't know. Toby's hasn't been around a lot. I feel like you know they're making him like an asshole right now. But at the same time, he does kind of have the he has the right intentions, but. He's being a shitty boyfriend. I don't think Toby would be one. But I don't know. That's just my opinion. But we'll have to wait till next week to find out, I guess. So. Yeah. Okay. Allie goes to trial. She does go to trial. Yeah. And I guess the court found that she wasn't kidnapped after all. Yeah. I came out. Yeah. And Which made her look really bad because, I mean, she lied about that. What else could she be lying about? And I don't know. The girls are trying to find a way to get... Uh, proof that Allie and Hannah didn't have to do with the mother's death. Yeah. And the um, Spencer's mom um, uh, made her stay home from the trial. Yeah. Stay away from the trial. And the 
French music. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Yeah. I'm kind of curious how it's going to turn out. When, when the artist, uh, artist phone rings, it's Fire Truck, and mm -hmm. then they answered it. It's, it's that French weird music. French music. And then they hear that same French music coming from inside Mona's and, room, yeah, or her house. The room. Yeah. And they found out a letter in, in, behind a mirror. Which at that point, like, when they went running right into the... I don't know, you, you just think under five seasons they would stop kind of blindly running into what was so clearly a trap. Like, they kind of figured it probably was a trap and they just kind of left. But at the same time, I was like, you know, hey, you can have, like, videotape of you breaking into Mona's house or whatever. I mean, he'll, he'll make it, or she'll make it look bad on you regardless. So. Yeah. I, I still believe that we have an A-team out there. I believe that... Every, like, yeah, I think age changing on us. I think each, I think maybe each season is probably someone different for the most part. And I think in the end, you're gonna find out Allie was pulling all the strings. I don't think she knows she's doing it. I think she does have like, like you know, Tyler Durden split personality thing going on. But at the same time, I do believe that she's the one pulling the string. I think Cyrus was a big part of that team until he got knocked off. You know, Varjack style. Uh, as another thing, Barjack, you know, is a literary reference, and you know, we all gotta remember Ezra was a former literature teacher. So I mean, that's kind of be up his alley too, um, but no, I think I mean I could even see them doing like maybe midway through reveal like it was Paige or something, you know. That'd be weird if it was Melissa. Well, all I'm saying is like maybe midway through, you know, blonde hair, it's Paige, and that's the big reveal until you know they they, they take her down or kill her or whatever. But then at the end, it's Caleb. Like that was like a second twist of the episode. Like it was actually Caleb, and you know they're both getting. They was both receiving orders to you know do it or whatever the case may be. Uh, but once again, I'm just saying like you know we got two more seasons left. Mm -hmm. You know, forty something episodes, fifty episodes to go. I mean, for the entire series. So I can literally see you know. There's clearly only someone else. It, it definitely won't just be whoever's revealed this you know this upcoming week. Constantly chasing liars down. I mean, it just. Oh. I forgot Jason went on, on the, the seat. Oh, yeah, they took Jason up there and revealed that, you know, they didn't come out and say it, but you can pretty much tell everybody knew that Jason and uh, Hannah's mom hooked up, and then that led to Hannah's mom, Ashley, dumping uh, Pastor Ted, so, which I like Ted, but I, you know, I, I kind of feel like, I don't know, I lost a lot of respect this season alone for Ashley, Marin, because I just feel like, I don't know, Really, she started hooking up with Jason while she was like engaged, to, or no, she wasn't engaged yet. Pastor Ted. I don't know, I just feel like Ted's way too forgiving. Like I, don't I think know. they they broke up. They did break up. They only had a separation, and then he finally forgave her and went ahead and they got married. But then once after, they're uh, married. Well, they're, they're getting married. They're getting yeah. uh, engaged, and then uh, once uh, Hannah and Kiss and Shell and this whole trial. You know, Ash kind of I'm like, you know, uh, you know, Mrs. Marin, you need you need all the support you can get right now. So I don't know why why she kind of kicked Ted to the curb. I thought that and was kind of. Like, I'm not going anywhere. But then she literally, like, after he after he said that, and you expect her to be like, oh, you're so sweet. She literally just like, well, I'm asking you to go. And he's like, let me finish my coffee. It was just like this weird, awkward breakup. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I feel like all the couples are fucking in trouble. It was, you know, we got, we already, you know, Paige and Emily split because Paige moved away. Uh, of course, and Ezra and Arya, which I was really glad to see that break up. I don't know about Spencer and Toby because... Well, they're already kind of on the outs, and she's already kissed, like, two other dudes. I mean, I, I don't think they're split up, and I really hope they don't because I, I do like that couple. But, uh, they, you know, they, they say that, you know, they're clearly on the outs right now. I mean, uh, and then, of course... Seemed like the perfect one, and they made that whole joke about how, like, you know, you're the essence of the perfect boyfriend, referring to Caleb, who is dating Hannah. But I tell you now, I just have this, I have this gut feeling he is a, and it's gonna fucking, uh, it's gonna be an ugly one. Ooh, Hannah asked um, um, Caleb to leave. Yeah. And he's like, no. Well, then he even tries to, he tests the water with Spencer. It looks like, and he's like, I think she meant all of us, you know, just to get out of here. Mm -hmm. And you can tell he was kind of testing the waters there. Another little clue that maybe you know. He's, you know, he, you know he, he could be in on it, but, uh, but yeah, it was something else. Mm -hmm. What else we got over there? That, that's about it. That's about it. Um, so, yeah, I, I saw the episode. I am pumped. Like, I can't freaking wait to see, you know, who who the big reveal will be. 
the big A reveal. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you right now, and I will stand firm that it's still Allie. Like, I don't care who takes the mask off and who it shows. In the end, it will be freaking out. And that's one uh, I talked to someone last night because I'm, I'm really bad. Like, I'm not going to lie. I'm, I am like a teenage girl when this show comes on. Like, I get on my phone and I'm, you know, texting everybody. I'm on Facebook just tearing it up. Um, like, last night when Aria had a really ugly outfit on. I was on top of that shit. Like, oh my god, look at that. And I'm not normally like that. I can get careless with that shit like that. But this show on here, I mean, I, 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 it resonates with me differently. So, anyways, um, shit, I forgot where I was going with this. I got ramble in there and I just kind of spaced out. Well, anyways, you know, the, the point is, I mean, it's a really good episode. And I, I can't wait. Oh, that's all. Yeah, so last night I said, you know, I posted on the, the Facebook page that, you know, I think Caleb's, you know, like, I have, my gut's telling me Caleb's probably A, and everybody's like, how can he be A, you know, when he was in Ravenswood for, like, a, you know, half the season, and I'm just like, that don't mean shit. Like, I still believe there was multiple A's out there. In fact, there's been multiple A's. Like, the one, like, the one plot thing that I really hated was when uh, Shauna was kind of A there for a little bit. There's a scene in New York, I think it was the beginning of this season, wasn't it? When they go to New York, and anyways... There's a scene where the liars are, you know, in Central Park or whatever, and then all these A's pop out. Like, I'm talking, like, ten of them. And I'm like, well, who are they? Like, uh, at what point? I mean, if, if you're going to be like, well, Sean, they just hire random people, I'm like, all right, but that's kind of a weird request, you know. I mean, I guess it is New York. You can probably find people who are willing to do it for some money, but at the same time, it's like, I don't know. It seemed odd to me, and I always assume, and the fact that like after like Shauna is killed in New York, they're just kind of like, it's over. I'm like, what? Was you guys not just surrounded by ten fucking people? Uh it, it just kind of irritated me. The fact that Jenna's still out there, like I don't think for a second Jenna's behind any of it, but it's like they don't know that. I mean, how would they know that? You know, so I mean, it's just like ah, oh, it just seems like they put their guard down way too quickly, way too quickly. Like, I can understand them being the first couple of seasons, but. Like I said, by the time we're on season five right now, like, you should just start expecting, like, you know, someone else is going to come around the corner there. And like I said, I do think there's, there's multiple. Yeah, like, when when Caleb was in Ravenswood, um, you know, it was probably, you know, I'm trying to think, well, he was gone in Ravenswood. That was the beginning of this season, wasn't it? Or was it last season? I don't know. I can't remember either. But anyways, when he was in Ravenswood, I, I think, you know, there was someone else taking over. At that point, you had Cyrus. You still got Noel Khan out there who you go, he could easily be, you know, doing this whole thing. But I think uh, Ravenwood did change Caleb, and he came back darker. And I think that uh, he's probably more vulnerable, and he can more susceptible to, you know, suggestions. So I don't know. I, I hope it's not the case, but I think it is. Yeah. I'm also rocking my SpongeBob shorts today, so in case you had to wonder, I usually try to slum it on her show. So okay, so what do you guys think of the Pearlers and Sister at Birth crossover? What? Really? Yeah. Oh, that's fucking gay. I think it'll be awesome. I, I mean gay in the most offensive way possible. Like, I hope it offends everybody. Cause I, 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 that's, I that's, guess the girl, girl. That's how offensive this fucking crossover is to me. It's, it's not even the same kind of universe. It's it's what, How would you cross that over? I don't know. I hope, I hope it kills everybody on Push Up Earth. I really do. Just fucking kill them all. That's like one of the worst shows I've ever seen in my life. It's just whiny. It's pretentious. It's just fucking retarded. I just can't do it. I, I really hope they cross over and they get slaughtered. Maybe that's how they're going to end the show. They, they take a little trip to Rosewood and they get killed. A dispatches them one by one. No. What do you think is going to happen? I don't know. I what think it would be awesome to have crossover. Well, what, that's what I'm saying. Like, well, how do you cross that over? Because, like, one show, there's literally, I mean, people's lives are at stake. I mean, A has definitely raised the stakes. Like, when there's a murder trial going on, I mean, A's not fucking around anymore. Like, you know, before it was like, you know, I'm going to get caught, you know, cheating on a test. Oh, no. What am I going to do? You know? Or, oh, no, they're going to, like, show a text to my parents. You know, it wasn't a big deal. But now it's like, Hannah's on trial for, a, you know, an accessory to murder. That's, that's fucking life-altering right there. She's, she's going to spend some prison time for that. So it seems like they're, they're more hardcore, but like on Switch at Birth, it's just people crying and whining. No. Uh, I did cocaine and I'm a party slut and I got raped. And even though it's consensual and I agree to it, I said it was raped later. Really? Really? I, I hate that fucking show so fucking much. I love it. Jesus. Okay. Come on.
Rob Williams it, I guess. Okay, here's the book. I, I got a would you rather. What would you rather what? Okay, would you rather be on A team or the liar side? Ugh. Well, I mean, the noble side of me says I want to be on the liar side because, once again, I do believe that in the end, A will get their, will get hurt. I'll say her. I'll tell you, that's Allison. Allison will get hers, and we'll have a happy ending, hopefully. However, I feel like I would not be a main character on this show, so I may be one of the side characters get sent to the river. You know, I may end up going to take some prison time, and I'm not going to lie, I would not make it in prison. I'm getting raped. I want I'm getting raped like Bay wasn't, so... Uh, I'd be on the A-team. You'd be on the A-team? Yeah. I feel like... I don't know. But the thing is, if you go on the A-team... The, the A won't come after you. A won't come after you, but, you know, A will also probably sell you out to save her own skin. I mean, seriously, I think A set up Shauna for sure. For yeah. sure. Just news that she was, you know... Oh, did you forget about Sydney? Maybe she... Where the fuck is Sydney go? No, no. Yeah, Sydney just kind of disappeared there for a little bit. Oh, that was the other thing, too, with the French music. Remember, they also played it for a third time. Remember yeah. the little secret dome thing? And Emily put her elbows yeah. on the thing, and then it kicked on again. That's kind of crazy. I kept waiting for, like, A to pop out of the back. Because they're down in... I did on. see some. It was, like... She said she saw something in the background, but I didn't see shit. It's like, for you look like a ghost, like, something under it. It's just standing there. Maybe it was. I don't know. But, anyway, so, uh, yeah, I, I, I'll take the liar side just because I don't know. I hate to screw them over, but at the same time, it'd be easy to join the A team, I think, just because I think once they got something on you. I mean, Lucas has been part of the A team. He was helping them run errands for them and shit. I mean, so. I mean, Toby kind of was, but he was kind of doing the whole double agent thing, so. So, would you rather be on the A team or the liar side? Comment below, video response, hit me on Facebook or Twitter. Well, there you go. Yeah. So, till next time. Boom. You didn't hit it.